Hi everyone, welcome to the first video of me using the Cube Barbecue. It's the Everjaw by Heston Blumenthal. It's a little beauty and today I'm going to give you a few ideas on what you can cook on it. Now I'm going to show you from start to finish exactly how I set this up. Do your mouth a favour and always use a natural fire lighter. Don't use paraffin because you will taste it. I'm going to be using these shisha cubes by Big K because they last for ages and they're just perfect on a barbecue this size. And when your coals look like this, you're pretty much good to go. One of the things I was interested in was whether this barbecue would transfer heat downwards and thus scorching what's underneath. Today's theme was skewers and obviously you can put anything within reason on a skewer. So once the coals were separated out and the grill was on, it was time to begin. First up was padron peppers and mushrooms. You cannot get easier than this. Place them on the grill, stalks up and then add a little pot of butter and whatever herbs you want. I've used dill, parsley, thyme and then I popped a bit of chorizo in. Then it's all about cooking to colour, turning them over, softening them up and then when the time comes, pour that amazing butter into the mushrooms. And there you have it, idea number one. So let's now move on to the next one which is steak. Season your steak, lay it onto the grills and again cook to colour. If you're confident with your steak, then you can do it to touch. If not, just use a thermometer for your desired outcome. This is just for show, but if you slice it and put it back on the skewer, it looks great on the plate. Idea number three, duck breast. Now again, season two, taste and get it straight onto that grill, skin side down. Again, cook to temperature or touch, but with some plum sauce, this is absolutely delicious. Now, if you like garlic and strong flavors, I'm gonna put my chicken Slovakia recipe into a separate video and then that will go out as part of the members package that I have. I put this with some hummus, with some cranberries in and things like that, and some homemade tzatziki, it is the nuts. Idea number five is a little bit surf and turf themed, so it's just chorizo and prawns, but the two work brilliantly together. Grill off some lemon and you've got yourself an absolute winner with this one. Squeeze it over the top and it's gonna turn it into magic. Now, idea number six is just fruit. Don't be limited to the normal sort of banana and just pineapple. Get a little bit adventurous and try some of this. Date, apricot and strawberries. Just keep turning them until they're sort of golden. And you can even try grapefruit. Just put some honeycomb over the top of that once it's piping hot. With the pineapple, just use cinnamon and brown sugar and do it until it's caramelized. Now, the question I was most interested in is how much heat transfer was there downwards? And guess what? virtually none everything was safe and i love it thanks so much for watching please check out the membership options and i'll see you soon for the next one